Bonjour, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me in this new video. To be honest, I am not too sure what this vlog will be about. I am hoping there will be some raining involved at some point. My plan is simply to pick up the camera for the next few days, take you along and just share what I get up to. If you watched my previous video, then you know that uh, I managed to hurt my foot and I've not been able to run for a few days. It's day five now. And I appreciate that the majority of people, especially people who take the time to comment, are here for the running. And I really hope to be able to get back to running content really soon. But in the meantime, I might need to start vlogging other aspects of my life. So I hope you will stick around, but I appreciate that it's not everyone's cup of tea. I will try to put some chapters in this video so you can just skip to the parts that interest you if you want. So yeah, so for as long as I can't run, I'll be hopping on the bike in the morning. I am appreciating having a gym in my building even more now that taking a few steps hurts because I just need to get on the elevator, get to the gym, hop on the bike. It's very minimal walking, so that's really nice. So it's really nice to have a pool. I've booked slots for almost every day this week and I'll be going to the pool in the afternoon. I also managed to book a physio appointment for today and it's a physio that can do home visits. For the first time I'm using this app called Urban where you can book beauty treatments, massage, physio and the practitioner comes to your home. So if all goes well this physio should be here in a few hours but in the meantime I'm gonna have my breakfast, do some work and I'm hoping to have some good news to share with you uh, after the physio visit. <music> I just had my physio appointment. This physio was really good and it's so convenient to have someone come to you instead of having to travel anywhere. It was my first experience with Urban but I was texting Ben just now and saying if we ever need to book a physio again for you or for me we're booking this guy again via Urban because yeah it was really good. We did exercises and we filmed them so I can do them again and remember <laughs> what I need to do and it's quite good news because he says it's unlikely that it's going to be a stretch fracture <laughs> if you enjoy cooking like genuinely like it I wish I was like you <laughs> It's just not my thing and I gave it a good go. I tried to experiment with recipes, I tried to spend more time in the kitchen, find meals that I enjoy cooking and uh, yeah, it's just not happening unfortunately. The problem is when you dislike cooking, you always fall back on the same super simple meals and you just get bored of eating the same thing over and over again. So I thought, why not try this week a meal delivery service? There's loads of them in London, so this week I'm trying farm stand. It is quite a nice system because it won't take much space in the fridge. So they come in little pouches like this and one meal is three pouches. I think for lunch today I'm going to try the vegan shepherd's pie. So these three pouches are for the lunch today. I'm giving this a go this week and either in this vlog or the next one I'll give my honest unsponsored review of this service. <music> Five minutes in boiling water, that's all you need to do, that is my kind of cooking. So let's give this a go, I'm going to try to get a bit of everything. Mm. I really like it, that's pretty good. I'll have to try the other meals but uh, maybe I treat myself to one farm stand delivery a month or something. Yeah, that would be nice. Oh, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can probably tell. I am slightly dripping. Uh, it is now Tuesday morning and I just came upstairs from the gym. I didn't do any weight training today. I just did a spin session. It was a good one. Whew. I didn't film anything else yesterday because I was just working all afternoon. I went to the pool at around 4.30. 
And that was it. So this morning I was originally planning on doing weight and spin like yesterday morning, but I had a terrible night sleep. And I woke up feeling tired and I did not fancy doing anything, but I know that it makes me feel better. But at the same time, I'm tired. So I made a compromise with myself. I was like, okay, Chloe, you go to the gym, but you just spin. Forget about the weights. You can still do another weight session tomorrow. So that's what I did. And I'll do my physio exercises a little bit later today and uh, maybe the pool this afternoon. But yeah, that's another day in my uh, rehab life. been one full week since my last run. I appreciate it's not a very long time and I'm quite lucky that this injury shouldn't be an issue for too long but it's definitely now the longest I've been without running since I started to take running seriously and train for races and everything. So yes, a little bit frustrating but um, I'd like to think that things are moving in the right direction. Also, I decided to pull out of my 10k race that is 9-10 days because having this on my diary was just stressing me out and I don't want to rush back to running just for this race when there's plenty of London races organized by Run Through like every month all the time and it's just best if I give myself time to recover, ease back into running and then get ready for Brighton 10k which will be now the next on the diary and it looks like I'm not losing my entry for Victoria Park I can just transfer it to a later date so I guess it could be worse really one thing I don't do really well is I don't really cross promote my stuff so I don't talk about my blog on YouTube and I don't talk about my YouTube channel on my other social media but if you didn't know, I have a blog which I started over three years ago now and I get to work with some amazing brands on collaborations, reviews and stuff like that and I thought I would do a cheeky plug of my blog on this video because I'm doing my third collaboration with Adidas it, uh, it is a dream brand to work with and it's the third time I work with Adidas on my blog for a review of some of their kits. The full review will be live on the blog in a few weeks once I've tested everything and I've taken the photos. But I thought I'd quickly show you here. I'm not too sure if the camera is doing the colors justice. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's better here. It's a very dark green. It's a really, really nice color. These shoes, they are the Duramo 10. They say it is for running, but on the website they say they're basically good for any activities and I really like them white so I'm going to keep them for the gym indoors. Next up we've got this little gym top with quite wide openings under the arm. The crop tank top is my favorite type of gym tops at the moment. I think it looks really nice with leggings. Another crop top but long sleeve this time and pink and the label says that it has been dyed botanically. And the only running item this time is this long sleeve running top. I really like this bright blue color that clashes a little bit with the green but let's ignore that. Yeah, you always need some long sleeve stuff like this. I will put links of everything I've showed you down in the description and thank you to everyone who reads my blog because this is what allows me to work with some amazing brands like Adidas. Friday, another no run day. Shouldn't be too long until I can at least do a little test run and see where I'm at. I also just had my lunch and I actually finished my last farm stand meal from the delivery I had Monday. So now that I've had all the meals, I thought I would share my thoughts and do a little review. So let's start with the beginning, the delivery. Delivered with DPD, you get a time slot. It's in a box with the um, fleece lining insulation thing and then an ice pack, so it was really fresh. No problem with that. 
all the meals I've absolutely liked. Heating up the meals as well was effortless. Five minutes in boiling water, that's all you've got to do. It was so nice. I was so looking forward to my meals. It was full of flavors, really satisfying. So much better than what I cook myself because it is very plain, very boring and always the same thing. Price-wise, it is a 5 euro meal and you need to order at least 5 meals. That's a minimum of £25 per box. Some people will think it's overpriced, some people will think it's not that expensive. It is definitely cheaper than going out when you fancy a nice meal and it's just a tad more expensive than like a Tesco meal deal, let's say. So personally, for the great experience I had and the level of enjoyment I had for like all my lunches this week, I was looking forward to them. I would say it was definitely worth it. Once a month, I'm going to treat myself to a farm stand delivery. So in a nutshell, would I recommend it? Yes, absolutely. I'm not affiliated with the company at all, but I did get a referral link when I signed up and I'll leave it in the description below. If you live in London, because I think they only deliver in London, and if you want to try it out for yourself, then you can use this link and get 20 pounds off your first box. First proper walk since the start of this injury. It is loads better now it's like night and day and the physio said i might be able to start training actually starting today um i know it is definitely not back to normal there's still a little bit of pain so as much as i'd love to run again uh, i think i need to be patient it is frustrating now but i know that if i rush back to running too soon i'm gonna pay a much bigger price later so yeah i'm gonna be sensible i'm gonna give it a couple more days but for now i'm gonna end this vlog here i know there wasn't much running involved but i hope you enjoyed it anyway thank you so so much for watching and hopefully in the next vlog we're back to running thanks again and i will see you in the next one bye